Hi Pisces, thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your love reading. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We have the Knight of Swords. So there's some type of chaotic energy going on right now for somebody. It feels like with this Knight of Swords, there's like a, a feeling of, of either this is you or this is like your thoughts right now, um, or this could be somebody here around you. Page of Swords, a lot of air energy, so a lot of mental energy currently going on, I feel, for somebody or for you. and. It feels like this is really interesting. I'm hearing tunnel vision as well. There's somebody who's very hyper fixated on some topic or person. I want to see what this is. Again, it could be somebody around you or this could be you. Um, and if this is you, then you have been feeling kind of like you're spinning out of control or there's a lot of thoughts racing in your mind. And I feel like this is about the message actually about the, the song to quit playing games with my heart for a few of you, where it might be that there's kind of a sense of crumbs on the ground and you're trying to pick them up or you're trying to figure out why there's crumbs on the ground. Again, it's kind of like a feeling where there's something which is either exploded kind of recently in terms of it could be like an ending it could be a breakup it could be some type of argument or drama and I feel like there's an up in the air I'm hearing yes or no up in the air so yeah there, there's something here I, I just don't know how this is connecting but it's something where there's either a question up in the air that you have right now or that somebody is presenting to you or wants to present to you it's like it's dangling yes or no will you say yes will you say no should I say yes should I say no and with the air this could actually be a very ungrounded energy so if you've been feeling a bit ungrounded that could be one of the reasons is because if this is for you um, it feels like there's uh, a complicated, I'm hearing, a complicated situation going on. Something is very complicated and it feels like that with the Knight of Swords too. It's it's definitely, there's, if you are connecting with somebody who you are talking to, it could be a friend, family, romantic partner, Spirit wants you to know that there's a lot more to this person's life that you may not be aware of or that you may not know about. So it could be a bit of a message coming in that with the silly games at the bottom um, if that is the case for a few of you if this is somebody who you feel there's something kind of off going on but i don't know what it is um, this is a confirmation that there is somebody who is kind of hiding something or there's just more going on beneath the surface there's more in the background so it's a very complicated situation so if it appears to be kind of smooth or if it appears to be that you know you feel that you, there's more to it, that there is definitely more to that situation. There's more going on in the background. And I'm hearing for, for others of you too, or maybe for the same group of you, this could be something where you are needing to have a conversation with somebody and really talk about things because it feels like there's a lack of forgiveness or openness or honesty here between the two of you. And <clears throat> Excuse me. And so it could be that you need to um, talk about things. It feels like there could be somebody also who is avoiding speaking to you right now or avoiding talking to you. It almost feels like it could even have been a canceled plan. I'm hearing for a few people if that's um, what happened recently or if this has been kind of an ongoing thing. Um, again, the, the main topic here that Spirit's bringing up is that there is a lot of jumbled kind of information or uh, complications right now involving 
something to do with the relationship or a friend or someone around you. And I feel like it could even be a little bit of jumping to conclusions I'm hearing. Again, it's like wires are being crossed here. So what you may think about the situation is kind of being crossed together, you know, for whoever this reading is for. Um, so it's even hard for me to pick up on what the kind of core of it is, is because it's like the wires are crossed. But you would kind of know, I feel, if this is for you, if it's like the general theme. Um, I'm also hearing spirits say go with the flow. So if this is something where you're kind of overcomplicating it or jumping to conclusions, you may need to go with the flow right now with the situation because this feels kind of like an up the battle or not up the battle, up the hill or up the river kind of feeling where there's... The Fool. I'm hearing you don't need permission. Three of Swords is at the bottom. Again, another Swords energy. You don't need permission. So take that how that will fit with you. You may not need permission for, um, I mean, everything. Really, you don't need permission to live your life the way that you want to live your life. But this could be something very specific for a few of you where you feel somehow like you need permission from somebody. Or again, there's like a... There's a sense of, for you, the viewer, you are getting your groove back, I'm hearing. It's like that Stella getting my groove back. It's something with the dress here. I feel like this is a feeling where if you have been, again, like on the fence here about whether or not you should remove yourself from a situation or just maybe it's something smaller than that. Maybe it's just that you need to detach for a little bit from the conversation or the situation spirit is confirming that yes you don't need anyone's permission you don't need to stay any longer than is necessary it feels like with the fool you are somebody who it's almost like your energy as well has been awakening or pulling you into a direction in which you you do feel that that is the best choice for you. Um, and I do feel that this person, because there is a connection here. So basically there's a connection. It's a complicated connection. It's some type of connection. This connection, which has been like wires crossed, is somehow seeing you and acknowledging that you are moving forward. And so they could even be trying to overcomplicate things for you or trying to get in your way. Uh, that could be for some of you. And it's like a cassette player going over and over again with the Three of Swords. You've either been here over and over again. Um, and it's like this is something where the Fool would be a clean new slate to do things differently for you, for yourself. I'm hearing the elephant in the room. So yeah, there's something that needs to be addressed. Some type of communication, the elephant in the room about... This, this situation. Ace of Swords, yeah. And I do feel that spirit could actually be bringing this truth in or conversation however it will manifest for you it feels like spirit's going to be bringing this through for you in a way where if you don't do it it's like it's going to happen automatically and i feel like if you have been waiting to hear information from somebody or if you've been waiting to again talk with somebody or to kind of hear a truth from somebody um, this is actually going to be coming in And it's actually going to bring you some form of relief. So if you, if this resonates with you, it's going to bring you a sense of relief. And it almost feels like it's something which is not going to be as bad as you thought that it was going to be. So whatever that's going to be for you, um, yes, you know, you could be moving forward, moving on. But it's also like a sense where the truth or the clarity or the information you're going to receive is not going to feel as bad as you had thought that it was going to be. This could even be something if you don't kind of know what I'm talking about. It could also be something which you've been worried about for 
maybe for a long time, maybe for years or for months, I don't know, something you've been worried about and you're gonna like kind of feel relieved because it's not gonna be as bad as you thought that it was ever gonna be. Um, Ace of Cups is at the bottom, which actually came up in the last collective update I did as well. So with the two aces here, it feels like, yeah, you're finally getting something that you've been waiting for. You're finally getting the clarity or you're finally getting the 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 feeling or the yeah the clarity the message the the feeling of of sort of closure perhaps let me get a little bit more information and see What else, Spirit, about this message for the collective? What is this about? What do they need to know? We have the B. Yeah, so this could actually be something where you will be having um, a meeting with somebody, a conversation, a meeting. It almost feels like some type of um, get together where you will be meeting up with somebody like a restaurant or wherever it could be. And it feels like this is going to be part of this communication coming in, this message or this conversation that is needed. And I feel like, <clears throat> I don't know why my throat, <coughs> there's something definitely about like words need to be spoken. Um, Again, it feels like you've been waiting for this news or if this is something where it's a, again, like a relationship, you could be waiting for them. They could be waiting for you. Um, and it's like something will give for that to finally happen, for that conversation or that news or that clarity to come in. And I keep getting the sensation that it's going to lift a weight off of your shoulders. So this will bring some type of positive news. I do want to clarify what that exactly is, that positive news, because it feels like it's going to help to um, really kind of bring you away from the heaviness that you felt about the situation. And I'm hearing that you will be filled in on the details. So whatever those details are, you're going to be filled in. So yeah, it's, a, it's kind of a specific message here today that missing information, missing links in what appears to be most likely a relationship romantically um, with the silly games here, quit playing games with my heart. I will link that down below if you don't know that song, but um, it feels like you will. And yeah, so this is that relationship and the missing puzzle piece that you kind of needed to hear from or for the two of you to work things out. I'm even hearing for a few of you this this could be something which is like somehow happening through another person. I mean, this could be like, it depends. You know, it could be that you hear this from a reader. It could be that you receive a reading. It could be that you hear it from spirit. It could be through a friend. Um, if it's not directly from the source, it could be through that method or that way. Um, and it feels like that's part of the, the sense of like, I can be free now. I don't have to feel tethered to this inability for me to have the truth or this inability for me to move forward with something uh, or from something. And so it's like news. It's, it's almost like bumblebees all around you that are bringing news to you. Um, it's like buzzing around you. The truth is buzzing around. The words will be buzzing around. So it's if there's been like non-action or no communication, this is going to be changing and shifting where um, it's going to be very abundant now. It's like the words are going to be all over the place. It's like things are going to be swiftly kind of moving forward. So yeah, it just kind of feels like climbing out of a cave of some sort, climbing out of the rut and getting your wires uncrossed and realizing what the truth is or was all along. 
we have the cobra and the cosmic egg. And this cobra, I'm actually getting a sense, like a really strong message here of some type of like karmic completion with the red in the background. It feels like a very powerful kind of energy. It feels like something that you with the cosmic egg here too, actually in the rainbow in here, um, it feels something like it's hard to even put it into words because it feels so like, it feels so large when I'm talking about it or feeling it. It's something that was, because the Fool is, is, you know, the first card in the Major Arcana. So it's almost like we've, we've started from square one again. We've taken everything else out and here we are at the Fool. Everything else is kind of erased. And I know that sounds kind of dramatic, but that's what it feels like. Um, and it may not just be because of, you know, one conversation. I mean, this could be whatever your situation is. It could be a whole like um, kind of string of things that have been happening maybe but whatever it is it's like it's we've erased the chalkboard and now we have a clear chalkboard and new chalk and nothing's been used and it could even be something connected to a certain power of yours I'm getting like a certain strength or power that you have innately within yourself that has you know, maybe you've been held back for a little bit. And so this could even be rippling into you moving into a direction where you feel that you're um, kind of, I think this came up for the Scorpio reading a little bit that I did too recently. The things that have been sort of laying within you that you have not had access to could be spiritual gifts, psychic, psychic gifts. It could be certain just timelines that are collapsing behind you that you didn't have access to before. And so this Cobra is a really powerful message. It's, it's basically like, like I said, what you've been waiting for kind of is coming in and that can be different for a lot of you. Um, I probably will do an extended for this too, because it feels like there's more here, but um, it can be something where the truth just kind of finds you out of nowhere or the truth is, even I'm hearing for some of you watching this, you could be a star seed. Um, and there's a lot of cosmic guides around you. And you're going through like an activation here in your chakras. So again, it's kind of connected to sort of a new phase of your spiritual journey, which had been kind of held back on or was not given to you. It's kind of like if you had sunglasses on that didn't allow you to see past a certain level and now the sunglasses are being taken off because it's this truth that comes in to give you that truth that you need to take the sunglasses off if that makes sense so i definitely feel like that's something where like the new like you're playing a like a game on your phone and you unlock level 11 or 12. you couldn't unlock 11 or 12 because you weren't there yet or you didn't have the it's like that phrase we can only what is it we can only see things from the current like we can only perceive situations in our life based on how much we've grown or what our knowledge is or what our um like what lessons we've applied about that from a certain point, if that makes sense. So it's almost like I feel you've 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 cracked the code somehow, and this is what's going to bring in this this truth. We have the swan, and I do feel that this is something. Let me actually confirm because there's a message coming up here, but I definitely want to confirm this. And this actually definitely came up in the last collective reading again that I did. So this definitely could be connected. There's a sense of the union within yourself, which is helping to align certain connections that you weren't able to align to or come into healing with before. Because again, it was something that you were not ready to kind of receive at the time.
I'm seeing somebody with their phone and they're trying to dial your number, but it's like the numbers are all jumbled together. Like they may know your number realistically, but it's like they're trying to dial it and they keep like trying to change the numbers. Is it 857? Is it 787? Is it 487? It's like there's different number combinations. So I feel like that's kind of what I mentioned before too with like the wires being crossed and all of that. Um, there could be somebody who's trying to gain access to you energetically or this, I mean, this could be somebody you recently, this could be the same person who is, this whole thing is about. Um, and it feels like, yeah, something really big happened here. I don't know what this is. Something really, it's like a split. Like we're walking down this path and then suddenly the ground collapses and we have to go down a different path now. Um, So peace, balance, and harmony has been that has been lacking in your life will soon be restored. So yeah, with the swans here, or the swan, that's what I feel. Like this is very peaceful energy to me. And you're going to be very relieved about that. There's that relief coming in again, the sigh of relief with the situation. can you tell me about this spirit I'm hearing the chosen one some of you could be a chosen one you know again there's a very powerful message for whoever this is for you are chosen um, for something really big in your life and you would be feeling this pull and I'm hearing you can't always have it your way or you can't always like the people or the situations that you felt that you wanted to have they can't always be there when you are meant to do something much more grand you know it's like I feel spirit has been trying to prepare you for something bigger and it can feel frustrating because we want to sort of still be attached to that person or that situation because we don't know yet that we're meant for something greater. And that's what that Cobra is speaking to. Um, it feels like this queen almost kind of energy I'm getting to. You will soon be met with an incredible surprise that will favor your love life and bring about a hopeful energy that everything is finally falling into place. Yeah, I mean, that's a really that's that relief I'm getting. It's like a very soothing kind of relieving message to hear that finally everything is going to fall into place. And I'm hearing that it's currently right now being worked through. Um, I do want to clarify a little bit about that page of swords energy. Is this um let me see which deck am i going to use what is this page of swords knight of swords page of swords ace of swords what is the ace of swords i'm hearing it's something that you felt was a long stretch something you kind of felt it was like a football field or two football fields it was too far away it was never going to happen the Cinderella story so yeah there's something very magical happening here the star the queen of wands the four of swords yes so if this reading aligned with you and if you do feel this connects with you it's like it's a bit of a Cinderella story that's unfolding um, with this incredible surprise too so a lot of like big words being used here a lot of um, that kind of magnified energy I was picking up on before it's it's kind of it's not even something that I can tune into on this level of 
like little me here channeling this message to you. It's something with the cosmic egg, which is very, very, very large, I keep getting. So this could be something which is like part of a great plan that has been in the works here. Again, this incredible surprise. And it feels like this, almost like a child on Christmas morning. Like that's kind of the feeling I'm getting. Like it's going to feel like that. And I don't know if you've felt that yet. If you haven't, then um, even if it sounds like it's a fairy tale or too good to be true, that's really what's coming up here. So you need to know that that's what's coming in. Um, they're showing me, what is it, the Minnie Mouse? Something with Christmas and the holidays keeps coming up here too. Um, I don't know what the, I forgot what the movie is called, but it's when, I don't know if it's Minnie Mouse, I'm really bad at this, uh, characters on something where they, the, um, they only have a little bit of food to eat. They're, they're very poor. And maybe something okay i don't know how to explain this something where it's like you felt that you were very poor before it may not have been that you were like financially poor or that you were just poor so to speak but it's like something where you felt like you only had a like a piece of chicken this little on your plate i know it's kind of weird but um and now the the whole like meal the feast is being given to you and so that could be the crumb reference i had mentioned before too in the silly games you know whatever has been playing games with your heart, someone who's been doing this specifically, or you've just had uh, that kind of, that kind of string of relationships in your life. And you've been holding on to that little piece of food for so long because you thought that's all you deserved, or you thought that that, like, you didn't realize that you could have the whole thing. Um, but you will get the whole thing. Okay, what is this Knight of Swords, Page of Swords, Ace of Swords specifically, Spirit? I'm hearing changing your name, so uh, that's probably just for like one person. If you're, if you're changing your name or if you think about um, like an identity shift completely, we have the world, so see lots of like major energies here. So we have the Queen of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Page of Swords, And now I'm hearing another song, which I never know the artist's name because they just I hear the songs sometimes and I don't remember the artist, but um, I think it's called, the lyrics say, I'm down on my knees for you. Something about being a fool, I'm down on my knees for you. Okay, yeah, this is like branching into a completely different, I don't know how this connects. I'm not sure if it's the same situation, but they're they're talking about now somebody who um, doesn't feel enough for you, somebody who has been feeling that they have never been enough for you. And that's the person who's trying to fumble for your phone number, um, which could just be a metaphor. It doesn't have to be that literally they lost your phone number, but it's something where they have been, again, like sort of looking at you and feeling that there's no way that they can so what about this person because i don't know what spirit where spirit's going here what about this person we have spiritual purpose so that's the main message i'm getting though clearing negative energy spiritual purpose this is for somebody who needs to know that again you have like a higher spiritual purpose or something which is um it's like you're kind of on a scavenger hunt I'm being shown and you're finding the keys. You're finding the key here and then you collect the key over there and then it, it all kind of, in the end, it, you, again, you level up to that level that you've been searching to find. You know, those, those games where it's like you're searching for that key and you can never find it. Um, is it in this room? Is it in that room? And then you finally find the key and then it just kind of rockets you into something that, that level. And when you get to that new level, it's always like a brand new game, you know, it's like a brand new kind of horizon and you have to learn 
the game, you have to learn kind of the new room that you're in. You have to learn the new tools that you have, the new points that you've gained, you know? So it's almost like I just, I want to talk about this and this energy over here. I don't even know. I think this is probably like the situation that you have left behind. Um, is there anything that they need to know about this person? Is it is there anything important here? Page of Swords, Ace of Swords. What about them? Because it's almost like my eyes keep wanting to be drawn here. My energy keeps being drawn here because I think that's what spirit's trying to push you to or maybe what you are gravitate, gravitating towards. Um, and this... Page of Swords, Nine of Swords... hearing so many songs now I'm hearing the song by Eminem space bound I'm a space bound rocket ship what is it rocket ship and your hearts to the moon and I'm aiming right at you surprising events so we have that word too surprising twice so I mean um, I think I'll look at that in the extended and see a little bit about this situation because this definitely could be a person who is aiming for you which is going to be very shocking and surprising for you it seems like this is the beginning of the reading that we had where you have been wondering about them or I forgot now what came up, but you were unsure or you've been having a question in your mind. It's going to be answered. And they seem to be aiming for you. Something with the moon is also really significant. You may have Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio in your chart um, or you're you're definitely like some of you have a connection again to the stars, to the moon, something which is very celestial kind of about you and mystical you could be um a reader psychic healer astrologist something like that too for a few of you but it feels like you uh yeah so this yeah i, I just think it's somebody who is actually aiming for you in the heart and you have had your questions about this or you've wondered about this, you've had concerns about it, kind of. Yeah, see, like I said, there's, it's a tricky situation, so it's kind of hard to tap into here. Tricky and boundary check, so that's the thing. But I don't know why they're aiming for you then. Um, so I will look at that in the extended. But let me get one... One card for that, just because I'm curious here. Because the main message, I think, has already come up here for you. I think this is crooked. Okay. Um, can you give me the one reason that they're coming up in the reading then? Is there something that... What do they want here? Or this connection? What is its... Three of Swords again. Yeah, I, I, I just, I think for a lot of you with the Five of Swords, the so many swords are coming up here. Um, there's sleepless nights I'm getting. Somebody can't sleep. You can't sleep. A lot of trickiness here, a lot of density to this, a lot of hurt and pain involved in the situation. And for most of you, it is that kind of wires cross situation I had picked up on where um, it's something existing. It's something which has been recently happening for a lot of you. Um, but it's almost like I can't get further than this. So...
that card also came up in the last reading too. So yeah, I'm gonna I'll, I'll look at that in the extended and see a little bit more about what this person is connected to you. Who are they and why are they coming up here in the reading? Um, and then I think we're gonna look and see what this surprising event is. And then we will take a look a little bit about, for those of you interested maybe in the star, the cosmic egg, your spiritual purpose, anything connected to the doors that are opening for you in this peace and balance that are coming in for you. Okay, and the truth also, the Ace of Swords, a little bit more about that, because again, I don't know, it's not, it's, yeah, I want to explore more of that. We have, you may soon be faced with an energy of upheaval. Understand that this is necessary in order to bring about a needed change in your life. It may feel undesirable, but you will soon see the bigger picture. So there's that bigger picture energy I was getting. Um, the feeling where it kind of zooms you out and everything is making more sense, where it's not so limited to just, to just one perspective or one viewpoint. And some of you could feel very frustrated because it's almost like I'm feeling frustrated with, with the answers of this. And I think that's actually the energy of it is that there's doubts around this. There's questions about this. There's a feeling of confusion about that. And so it's, it's like that feeling that you could have too. You're trying to figure it out or you're trying to ask about it or you're trying to, to I don't know what that is, trying to figure it out, but it's like it's not being revealed to you. The answer isn't being revealed. But I do think that we have an answer, but I just, I, let's get a few of these little clues. We have school. Some of you could be going back to school or you may be, uh, yeah, going back to school or learning something or just um, it's part of your spiritual purpose, part of something that you're going to be investing your time into, some type of skill. We have one month, this person could reach out to you, which could be part of that Ace of Swords. Um, and it's probably going to be shocking. They could travel towards you or you could meet them on a vacation or there might be a surprise trip coming up of some kind either that you will take alone and this will be surprising, but it will lead you maybe into some type of new endeavor or spiritual purpose, or this could be something involving this love interest who might reach out to you from a vacation or taking a vacation. We have ask more. So yeah, we're going to ask more, but it's also, that's the feeling again, questions and doubts or something which <laughs> it feels like a a rabbit hole like you're trying to ask a question and then you go into another room and then you ask another one and have another room it's like a, a maze um, so the whole thing is very tricky um, and I'm still trying to figure out how that relates to this if you're just entirely walking away from the situation karmic yeah so I think I said too, you're closing a karmic chapter or karmic wheel. So it feels like this is connected to the peace being restored in your life that you have been lacking. And it doesn't have to be relationships for all of you. I mean, it could have been a job contract. It could have been something that you had within your own journey of yourself that um, is karmically completing. And it's going to kind of feel like that sense of like, now I can see what I'm here to do, or now I can have more of an alignment within my energy field. We have travel again, and we have controlling. So if there's been any controlling blockages on your life, either from a person or the events of the world or anything of the sort, it feels like that is going to be somehow lifted for you where you are going to be having more peace when it comes to maybe moving away or traveling or being able to break free from the binds of something here. We have man. So there's a man involved in this tricky situation or a man is causing this tricky situation. We have, yeah, so see, there's a caution here with this. So for most, it's kind of like a bit of a, a cautionary message about that um, with whatever I had mentioned in the beginning too, that it could be something which feels like you're going to get the answer from it. 
but it might be something which will help to illuminate the questions that you had you know um, we have citrine so you may want to have a citrine crystal if you've been feeling kind of confused especially if you've been trying to create more abundance in your life maybe or this spiritual purpose or confidence within yourself good luck you may want to have a citrine crystal we have contract yeah there's a question about a contract there's a confusion someone has about a contract something which feels really complicated we have girlfriend and we have ex-wife interesting so um i mean some of you could be asking about somebody who is involved with somebody or who has either a girlfriend or an ex-wife or a wife you know whoever that could be it, it feels like it's a female energy i don't think it's you though i think it's somebody attached to this whole situation yeah you're going to be suspicious when you hear from this person or they're suspicious there's a lot of suspicion around around this it's like again the way that i'm like feeling within my energy trying to explain it or trying to dive into it feels like that like i'm walking through kind of like a haunted house or something and i have to be careful about every corner that i'm walking into it feels really kind of like a like dark almost We have so for the next seven to ten years i'm getting this could be your next sort of unfoldment of your life purpose or you've been waiting or not waiting but like the last seven to ten years have been leading up to this moment so it could have been a cycle that has been moving on for seven to ten years a relationship it could be anything like that or the next seven to ten years we have over yeah so something is over and that now the new next cycle is beginning so yeah if it's been seven to ten years of something in your life that could be a confirmation of what this is that's coming to an end so remember i said before i can't remember now but there was something about overreacting or it's not going to be as bad as you think it is i think that's what i mentioned it's not going to be as, as bad as you think that it is so this whole kind of haunted house feeling it's not going to be as bad it's not going to be as scary just whatever that is i can't pinpoint what it is but whatever it's going to be for you it's not going to be as bad you're going to find the peace that you've been seeking you're going to find the harmony that you've been striving to find and if it does involve you having a conversation with somebody who's going to reach out to you it's not going to go as bad as you thought it's going to smooth over or it's going to the trickiness that you're currently going through is going to like again not be as bad yeah there's a lot of like illusion around this a lot of, of complications around this so there's a lot of yellow here with the citrine too so solar plexus chakra um some of you could be um having some something restored in your solar plexus the power being brought back to you standing in your own power um again confidence life purpose knowing what you who you are what you offer to the world we have no feelings and fake friends so yeah i don't know i'm gonna have to look into that in the extended because i don't know any further than this but it seems like it's it's again a lot of things going on somebody could also be from the east coast or live on the east side of some country or city or i mean or state So what is the final card? Let's get one more uh, of these just to close up the reading. What does the viewer need to know? And then I'll pull from the name um, bowl. What does the viewer need to know? One final card for them. Storms may bring passion, but not peace. Yeah, they want you to consider what is it that you're riding into. You know, if you're dry, if you're um, a pilot, would you purposely, if you could just fly in any direction and you didn't have like one desti destination, would you purposely fly into a hurricane? Probably not. 
And so it feels like that, like you don't have to go back and to fly into the hurricane or the storm. Um, there's something with the word peace coming up that you deserve peace. You need to find peace with the star. Again, this feels like a very peaceful energy. It feels like something which will smooth over and kind of come into the bigger picture, you know, with the upheaval. You may need to go through the storm, but not purposely go back into the storm or not purposely feed into a storm, if that makes sense. Yes. You have reached a new level and a new land to be discovered. There is something for you here. So there's that level up in the game. Okay, so I'm going to pull from the bowl. And just to confirm, so in the extended, I'm going to look and see. We're going to look at, well, first of all, we will look, um, I think we'll do this first, but we will look at your next steps here and what this new game, <laughs> this new level is going to be for you. Um, you know, what that could entail, maybe pull a few cards for a spiritual purpose pass for some of you who might need confirmation. Um, we're going to see how that piece will come in. We're also going to see what's going on with this very complicated situation here involving probably a romantic partner, somebody who's been playing games with your heart. Um, we're going to see what they're doing in this reading, like what's their energy towards you. Uh, and then definitely I want to look at that Ace of Swords, what this maybe outcome of this will be, what the connection between this and you is, you know, in terms of the truth that will bring maybe an upheaval and what that's going to entail. Um, yeah. So these do not have to resonate. If they don't connect with you, then no worries. It does not mean that it's not for you. Um, it's just going to be specific for a few people. And you may want to turn down your volume. It can be a little bit loud. So when I was shuffling these, I saw a Reiki healer in here, and for some reason it really stuck out to me. So some of you could be going to school for Reiki, being a Reiki healer, or getting your certificate. Oh, that could just be for somebody. So we have Valerie. We have Jory. Giselle. Mary. Melissa. Christine. Aubrey, Charles, Amy, spelled like that, Lori, Vangela, Vangela, Cyan, Sissy, Richa, Risha, Molly, Victoria, Michael, Natalie, Rick, Serafina, Sonia, Neem, Lucy, Colt, so a lot of names here today. Um, Mauricio. 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 Leslie. Darlene. Mariella. Pernil. Pernil, 
Asha, Lorna, and Susanna with a Z. And I think that's it for names. And then we have Arizona, Las Vegas, Louisiana, Mexico City, Rhode Island, Delaware, New Jersey, and I do have other countries in here. It just happened to be all in the United States today. Um, and then we have dentist, pharmacist, psychologist. So yeah, if there's anything about like a graduate degree or school, that could be for some of you since we had school coming up here. Um, and then we have cancer, sun, black hair, tall, adventure. So you could be going on a new adventure for sure. Somebody could be a cancer. Um, maybe a cancer man with black hair or that could be uh, with tall, very tall, or that could be you, but just take that if that resonates. So I'll leave it here. Um, and I will go into the extended, definitely curious to see what else will come up with this. Um, but hopefully this could connect with you. Definitely let me know if it does. And if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And I hope that this could help take care and lots of love.